What's up guys? This is JJ and this is one of my favorite tunes of the moment, When My Train Pulls In by the brilliant Gary Clark Jr., one of the coolest uh, blues kind of artists of the day. Um, I'm playing a Vox Humana mod at Tully Thinline with Seymour Duncan P-Rails pickups. I've selected the bridge pickup in P90 mode. Gary Clark Jr. plays an Epiphone uh, Riviera which also has P90 pickups and is also a semi-hollow platform. Uh, I'm going into a Vox AC15 on the normal channel with kind of a breakup sound. Here's that, uh, here's that basic amplifier sound. All right? And I'm using a little bit of, an, uh, of a starving fuzz tone courtesy of the Magnetic Effects White Atom, an English fuzz, a germanium uh, silicon hybrid fuzz uh, that has a very cool texture control and you can use that to set it for more of a starving sound. <laughs> Which is something that Gary Clark Jr. uses a lot, and I really like that cheesy old farty fuzz tone. Um, for explaining how you play it, I'll turn the fuzz off, and I'll just show you how to play it. It's the, the riff itself, the main riff, is based around the E minor pentatonic in the open position, so that's this little scale. <laughs> um, and you start off like this. Open A, 2nd fret on the uh, A string, and then open D. Then you play open A, 2nd fret on the A string again. So then you get this together. Remember to mute the D string whenever you go back to the A string, right? Then you play th a third fret on the E string with a slight bend. And then you play an E on the D string, but you hammer on from open D to E. So you play open D, second fret on the D string. And then you leave the low E string, and you leave that ringing, and you play this thick octave. to that sound instead of the octave you can also play a, a power chord um, like this okay. now, as soon as you go to the four chord this is a 12 bar blues progression you play an A minor and I play it like this I play the uh, uh, E string fifth fret I mute the A string and then I play fifth fret on the D string and fifth fret on the G string and leave the other two, the B and the E strings, ringing. So like this. I'm not sure if this is the exact same chord voicing that Gary Clark Jr. uses, but I think it sounds close enough and the guitar parts are layered on the recording as well, right? to the B chord, the fifth chord, I played the same voicing, but now two frets higher for a B minor. That's seventh fret on the E string, seventh fret on the D string, seventh fret on the G string, and then I leave the these two ringing. Slide back to the, to the A minor. up on the riff again. I love this riff. I hope you liked this little tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and see you next time. Signing off. JJ out.